Hi, welcome Hi, to Giddens. So good to see you. I'm so glad you're here. I can't wait to show you all the good learning that's going on at Giddens this year. All right, I'm excited. Let's go. Where are we at today, and what are we going to be doing? Um, so today we're going to be working on vertical boards. Vertical boards allow, allow us to show our thinking other than just writing notes. It allows us to show our thinking. This year, how has the co-teaching model been for you as a teacher, but also for your students? What is the impact that you have seen? So for my students, it's been amazing. I have a lot of students that need extra help and extra support, so it's been amazing to have two teachers in the class. We've been able to help grow our students more than just me being by myself. I can't think of what educator would not want another person in the room to help, right? And what students don't want that, too. Um, you know, we can bounce off of each other when one of us is maybe needing a new way to teach or a new idea of how to spark it, you know, a little more motivation and learning, but the kids also can just have more hands-on, like, resource and help from one of us when one of us is busy. Can you tell me how vertical math boards have been this year for you and how is it different from last year? Last year it was hard for me because I couldn't really see my strategies. I wrote them down on a piece of paper. Sometimes it got crumpled up. But now that we're using vertical boards, it's helping me see my strategies more clearly and I can also see my friends work and uh, that's also it gives me a growth mindset and make helps me believe in myself. Hi Giovanna, hi Kenny, nice to meet you today. Can you all tell me where we're at? Um, we are located at the Giddens Elementary Art Room. Do you know how to sew a button? A button? Well no, but we're sewing like, like bags, pillows, and, um, animals, and hand pots. We do a lot of different things. We've made anything from potholders to teddy bears to pillowcases. We even all made small quilts. I'm one of four volunteers that come in every Wednesday afternoon and we help the kids learn about the sewing machine and how to put things together and to understand the different spatial parts of all the different sewing projects that we do. So I love at Giddens that the Innovation Lab is accessible to all students here. So as an educator, how has that experience been for you? It's been really rewarding to see how students are responding to having opportunity to explore their interests. Um, it's been interesting to see how they handle um, challenging situations because it's brand new to them, but they are taking it like a champ and it's really amazing to see how much they've grown and to see everything that they're capable of and to see what they can do when adults kind of step back a little bit and their imaginations can take the driving seat. Can you tell me what you've been doing in Innovation Lab? Well, we've been making these videos of Play-Doh just moving by itself. I know it seems like impossible, but we're just keep on taking pictures to look like the play was moving itself. How did you like working with your classmates on this project? It was so great. I just wanted to make this an actual movie. Hey Christy, thanks so much for having me today at Giddens. I loved my visit today, but I especially loved how the Innovation Lab is accessible to all students here. But my heart is with the co-teaching model in the fourth grade classroom. Wow, kids love math. So thanks for having me today. We're so glad that you're here. And yes, they are uh, enjoying both the Innovation Lab and the co-teach model. And we're very blessed that we have that opportunity here at Giddens. Pause up. Pause up. Go Jags.